Hi everybody, this is Lizzie Filkins here with your pro tip of the day. Um, I wanted to focus on reading. So I brought out some books that we use in our classroom. These two were published by the Humane Society of the United States. It's Bentley and Blueberry and Jasmine. Um, they all have come with happy endings. So for your young toddlers, they're not gonna burst into tears. Uh, another two good humane education oriented books is this is a poem before you were mine. Uh, the child will really love it. The adult might cry a little bit because <laughs> it is incredibly sweet. And it was published by Penguin. Um, and this is Coco the Inside and Out Cat. And this was published by Griffin, uh, Griffin Press. They only do humane education oriented books. They have many to pick from. Uh, this is just one that I won in a raffle, but it's a really great, great book and beautifully colored. Um, another, if you have older kids, we've got, so one of my favorite books of all time is Because of Wind Dixie. Um, it's a classic. Um, I sometimes what I do is have the kids read the book and then we watch the movie and I make them some popcorn and uh, they watch the movie. The movie is really good too. Another book, The One and Only Ivan. This is about a gorilla in a roadside um, zoo essentially and he gets a new buddy, a baby elephant. So this is a really great book. It's been really worn down because so many campers have read it. Another series is The Puppy Place. This is a really popular series. There's 10 to 20 different books you can get and they all follow different puppy breeds. And the puppies get into a little bit of trouble and then they get helped out and everyone's happy at the end. So these are really good and they're by Scholastic. One, if you have a more rambunctious child, Bad Kitty. <laughs> this is more comic book style. Um, and it's just funny and the, the kitty is so naughty and it gets into a lot of trouble. But I have a lot of students that have a little bit of ADD or ADHD and they really gravitate towards the Bad Kitty series. And the last one is one I read when I was a little girl. It's called Christopher Mouse. And it's about a mouse um, who uh, gets sold at a pet store and then bought off someone else and then end, ends up into a museum and finds this nice older couple and they take care of it. But uh, Christopher Mouse is just a great, great little adventure story. So that's it for me and I'll be back next Friday with another educational pro tip. See you then.